This video will show you how to um, read a data set into RStudio. First thing you will need to do is upload that data set. So make sure you're in your home um, directory on RStudio. So make sure you've clicked on home, then say you want to upload. Then you're just going to go to your computer and find that file to upload. So then you go looking through and try to find some files based on where your data sets, where your information is. So I'm gonna go through my files so I find one that I can upload. And here's one I can upload and I can just click on it and say, I wanna open that file. And then just say, okay, when it asks you what you wanna do here. And it will put it on here, it usually it puts it at the bottom. So after we started our studio, it'll move it around and I'll put a border, but it usually is at the bottom. And so you have this file there. Now there are two options, depending on if you happen to have an RMD file or if you're using the console. So we're first to use the console. If you're in the console, you just want that file to be put into your global environment. So you can either, most of the time we just click on it and then you say you wanna import the data set. Then once you've done that, you've got your data set here and then you just say you want to import that data set. And you notice it's now in here, it lets you view it, so it opens that file for you. If instead you wanna use an RMD file, so we're gonna go ahead and create just an RMD file. I wanna show you how to do this. If I wanna do the RMD file, what I would do here is I would need to first put in an R chunk. So I'm gonna get rid of a lot of what's on here because this is just a basic RMD file. So I'm just gonna, get rid of all that. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, I want to insert an R chunk. Then in that R chunk, I need to first give that data set a name. So I wanna give it some kind of name and maybe I'll call it, um, since this is class survey, maybe I'll just call it survey. And that's just the name I wanna use, helps to spell it correctly. I like to have um, my data sets with capital letters. You can do whatever you want, but just be consistent. So here, and then I put this arrow, it's actually the, the lesson symbol and then the dash. And then I'm gonna say I wanna read.csv and put a parenthesis in. And then in quotes, I need to put the name of the data set along with the path it happens to be on. And the easiest way to find that path is to go back into the, the data set, click on it, say you wanna import it, but instead of saying okay, Notice up here, it says file URL in this window. Just copy this. This is the path and the name of the file. You would copy this. I don't want this, I'm gonna cancel this. And then I'm gonna come back over here to my R chunk. Inside those quotes, paste in that URL that I copied. Then I'm gonna clean this out so you can see it actually will come in. Um, actually, no, I don't have to because I'm gonna call it something different. So now I'm just gonna run this R chunk and notice now I have that data set in here. The nice thing about this is now that data set can be used in this RMD file. So that's where we like to put them in this way with the RMD file. Just make sure you put it towards the top right after your setup or even in your setup, you can put this command if you wanted to. And that's all that you have to do to actually read a data set into RStudio if you don't happen to have a different URL for that.